In this video, we will create a U-bolt with clamp plate, nuts and washers. We will model the U-bolt and clamp plate around a 100 SHS tube profile. If you prefer to work in 2D, you can create a section view through the SHS. A polybeam is used to model the U-bolt itself, so start the polybeam tool. Change the part name to U-bolt, or whatever you prefer. Then change the profile to one of the round bar profiles. Depending on your local environment, there will be different options available, but the most common parametric round bar profile is AD profile, so we will use that. We will make the U-bolt 16 diameter. With these round bar parametric profiles, there is a little known feature where you can enter any text you like after the profile, which allows you to annotate the profile to be more descriptive. As an example, we could enter U-bolt after the profile so that when the profile is listed in the drawings material list or in reports, it provides the fabricator with a better description of the object. Set the material to the desired steel grade. Now trace the points around the SHS using the 2D view. If you don't have a 2D view, you can use the 3D view also using perpendicular snaps. Adjust the offset so that the round bar is outside the SHS. Extend the ends of the poly beam by 50 mm using direct modification to allow for the clamp plate, nut and washer. You might want to add a little clearance, so maybe add 5 mm to the width. Then add a radius to the corners. Next we will model the clamp plate using the beam tool and using a 5 mm thick by 75 wide plate. Adjust the plate position and then extend the plate to be 175 long. Now add some holes in the plate for the U-bolt to pass through, ensuring that you align the holes carefully with the U-bolt. Now we will add a washer using the beam tool, choosing the washer profile in the Australasian profile catalog. These are just circular hollow section profiles, so if your local environment doesn't have washers, you can add the profile. You will need to know the thickness of the washer, as this will dictate the two points you pick. We will assume that an M16 washer is 3 mm thick. Now we will model the nut using a nut profile. These are a hexagon profile shape. Again, you need to know the thickness of an M16 nut and we will assume it is 16 mm. Now copy the nut and washer to the other leg. The final step is to weld all the parts together so that they become an assembly. You could choose to leave them loose, but it is probably better to weld them. If you use U bolts and clamp plates like these a lot, you could turn this into a custom component, and if you are experienced in creating custom components, you could even make it parametric to automatically adjust for the size of SHS, or perhaps you want an option to choose the diameter of the U bolt.